Hi there, Grant McComey here with this week's edition of Travel Oregon's Grant's Getaways, and I want you to meet two of my best friends. This is Molly and this is Moody, their Springer Spaniel sisters, about 15 months old, and they are getting ready for Oregon's fall hunting seasons with exercise. In fact, hunting is sort of the backdrop for this week's getaway as we travel to a Willamette Valley wildlife area where the Oregon Department of Fish and Wildlife has set up class for women who are learning all about Oregon's hunting heritage. When you hunt for pheasant, be ready to put in your time pushing through thick waist-high grass. Walk right down in here. That bird could be sitting out there 50 yards. On the E.E. E. Wilson Wildlife Area near Corvallis, newcomer Kelly Raboyne is on her toes because the pheasant can launch skyward in a heartbeat. She's never done anything like this before, but that's okay because she's taking a class. It's part of a program that Oregon Fish and Wildlife Department offers, and it's too good to pass up, just like these pheasants. There's three. Yeah, they see us. We'll come back to Kelly, her partners, and the wily pheasants in a moment. First, let's check out where the day began. Perfect. It's an outdoor skills program called Becoming an Outdoors Woman. For 25 bucks, these two dozen women learn hands-on firearm safety, hunting techniques, and how to hit what you aim at. And I'm gonna give you some resistance and make sure you're ready to feel that impact. Nice and strong, exactly right. Perfect, you're right on. Everything's provided, and Kelly says her interest was simple. Because I've never done it before, and it's just fascinating. I'd love to learn about it. I've got some extended family that does it, and I thought if I learned, maybe I could go with them every once in a while. They are designed exactly for people like us. People that are new to the sport, are a little bit nervous about handling a shotgun, and don't want to be rushed or pushed or anything like that. My gal was just saying that, it's like, she's like, when I go out with the men, they're hurrying me, and they're like, hurry, take the shot, you need to take the shot, you need, get it in there. <laughs> she's like, here, just like, whenever you're ready. <laughs> Grab the gun both and leave me a position that I can grab it. Experienced instructors lead by example and cover the basics in an atmosphere of trust that pays off with relaxation and fun. I love it. There's so much opportunity for hunting, fishing, outdoors. It's, it's wonderful. That's a message the state's wildlife agency would like more women to hear. You see, approximately 300,000 hunting licenses are sold in Oregon each year. Women make up just 16% of the total. What our outdoor skills program does is try to just plant that seed of interest. If it leads to hunting or fishing, that's great. But if it leads to get you outdoors, that's even neat too. We're hoping that it just stays with that heritage of Oregon. Oregon is such a beautiful state and I don't think that the citizens um, take advantage of what's out here and you know, bonus if you get the bird at the end and get to take that back. So the best is yet to come. Yes, I um, can't wait to get out. I'm gonna get grab lunch, but I'm gonna eat it very quickly and then I'm gonna get out in the field. <laughs> There's nearly 1,800 acres of fields to explore at E.E. E. Wilson Wildlife Area, a former military training site during World War II. It used to be a military base, and the road system that's set up left over from the military base creates a really ease of access getting around for people who want to ride bikes, ride horses. They can come out here, one, one of the few public areas that you can actually ride horses on. And it's also really ADA friendly as well with the, the road system throughout. Uh, people who require the use of a wheelchair find, uh, find it a lot easier to get around than maybe some of the other public wildlife areas. Today, the area offers wetlands for wildlife, then a stock fishing pond to cast lures, even a wildlife exhibit area where you can see the many upland birds of Oregon. There's a bird in here. Back out in the field, Kelly's joined two other women, plus Mark Steele with his pointer, Neela. And things are getting pretty interesting. Let's walk down the road this way here and just focus on her. That bird could be sitting out in this grass here someplace. Shoot, shoot. Okay. There's no, oh, that's yours, yours. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Quick, 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 quick. There you go, you got a shot at it at least. Yeah. No hits this time, but a heart-stopping moment that Raboyne won't forget. It was really educational. Even though I didn't get a pheasant, I at least got a shot off. It was just really, really fun. Having never touched a gun before, I would totally do it again. It was really fun. Oregon Department of Fish and Wildlife's Becoming an Outdoors Woman program is just part of their outdoor skills offerings.
Molly. And you can learn more about it and get directions to the E.E. E. Wilson Wildlife Area by going to the Travel Oregon website. Come here. Up. Kettle. Fall is in the air. Have you enjoyed it yet? For something new and different, consider the fall season perfect time to sample Oregon brews, wines, and spirits, plus varied fresh local cuisine during Travel Oregon's culinary extravaganza called the Oregon Bounty. It's your chance to meet brewers, winemakers, chefs, and farmers who give Oregon a unique and distinct taste. Discover why things really do taste fresher in Oregon with a visit to Oregon Bounty on the TravelOregon.com website. Finally, get out here and make your own outdoor adventures come true. Let Travel Oregon be your guide. For Travel Oregon, I'm Grant McCombie.